protect and serve goes beyond just people. Some Arlington officers answered the call after a goat got stuck in a drainage ditch. News 8 Sebastian Robertson has the underground rescue new at five. On a triple digit day in Arlington, police are in hot pursuit. Don't let this body cam video deceive you. These two are slippery. Uh, this was not a normal goat. This was a super goat. Nick Korniak is a police service assistant. He was second on scene responding to an unusual call. So the game plan was to, to corner it and to pin it up against a fence or something else. Four police officers after two goats. They were reported loose in this Arlington neighborhood. So we chased them for a little while. Uh, that was really the first sign that this, this was going to be a, a bit different than our normal animal calls. Suspect one got busted. I think this has got to be my favorite. A picture no one loves more than 10-year-old Dashiell Horniak. So one picture was of the goat in his truck. It was just looking at the window like, hey. As for goat number two, she remains on the run. The one's in custody, the other goat's on the lam. Still uh, a fugitive from justice. Police believe she worked her way into the city's extensive drainage system. And that's when Horniak draws the short straw. With the help of two citizens, he's lowered into a manhole. I realize that there are a lot of spiders that live in those tunnels and they all were very eager and happy to see me. He worked his way a good city block underground and no luck. To date, no one has reported the livestock missing. That's a class B misdemeanor, by the way. Well, I, I don't think the goat's probably gonna hurt anybody. I just think he's just gonna walk around and uh, kind of annoy people. So in the meantime, police want you to keep your eyes open. And if you do spot the missing animal, don't attempt what these officers did. They want you to call 911. In Arlington, Sebastian Robertson, Channel 8 News.